paint war. We have three customizers. The clock is ticking. 10K. Yeah, I want to win. And they have five hours to customize the G4 for Draymond Green. I'm kind of freaking out. This, I'm just like, is ah! paint war. Customizers, the clock starts now. The competition starts and they tell us we have five hours. In my head, I'm like, yo, I can't get this done in five hours. Here's the prompt, five hours, go. I'm feeling nervous. I don't know what to expect. I've never done this before. What y'all know about the G4? What y'all know about being a three-time NBA champ? I'ma just let the man speak for himself. Hey, yo, Dre, tell him what's goody. Hey guys, it's Draymond Green here. I want you to create a shoe for me to rock in the tunnel. Similar to my game. A little bit of everything, a little toughness. Be unique, make it your own. But just add a little bit of me to it. That's dope. I didn't really show much emotion on the outside, but on the inside, it was like fireworks. It was insane. I've worked with celebrities before, but this is Draymond Green. Let me introduce you to my judges. The man that keeps all the celebs drippy with the heat on their feet. You know I can't do an episode without my man, Serato. What up, boy? What up, what's bro? good, what's good? Getting judged by Serato is amazing. He's one of the best, if not the best, in the sink customizing game. And y'all know Overtime, so y'all definitely know my next judge. She was a Final Four Hooper and the face of Overtime WVB. She's the queen of Overtime. Overtime Chloe, forever drippy. What's up, y'all? I'm here. Chloe, I just love her energy. She's pretty dope. And you know I'm holding down one more spot for a secret judge, so y'all better be watching, all right? So let's talk about what we're working with today. Converse's new performance basketball shoe, the G4. This shoe is built for dynamic and imposing players. I love these in the mid editions too. Converse is bringing some new heat to the court. It's gonna be a strong challenge for the contestants today because they got different fabrics, they got mesh, they got plastic, they got suede, and it's a black shoe, so they got their work cut out for them today. They gotta keep this shoe looking fly. Facts. When I saw the shoe, I'm like, okay, this is a challenge, but I was ready to go. I'm trying to change the entire shoe to look totally different. I see Caddy. I've seen her work before. I know what she's capable of. She's based out of LA. She's got some shops down there. So obviously she's very legit. Her artwork is insane. So I already knew it was gonna be a tough competition. Josh was taking out his stencil printer and his sander. I don't know what those things are. Sophia, I haven't seen her work, but when I looked down at her shoes, I already knew she was legit. She's really great at freehand. Seeing her on the other end kind of had me nervous. The first 10 minutes were overwhelming. What am I gonna do right now? I think I see Soap Dog looking for some inspiration. I see you. Thinking of the idea, prepping, implementing, details, finessing, tweaking, all in five hours is not a lot for a sneaker customizer. Caddy's over there just going to town, painting the whole thing white, so I think she's gonna come with some bold colors. With the shoe being black, what I'm gonna do first is paint the shoe white, and then from there I'm gonna add all of the colors and all of the detail artwork onto the shoe. I just feel like Josh is taking a really long time. You can't just throw paint on a shoe, you have to prep the materials in order for it to stick. He's got a lot more prep process to do than the ladies that are just hand painting. Okay, I see something very interesting up in here. I know what I wanna do in my head, but can I get it done in five hours is the question. I decided to put the area that he plays in, the San Francisco skyline. I wanted to incorporate his number. I also wanted to incorporate my style. I'm gonna make this shoe look like a comic book and how I'm going to do it is put pop art like with the wham and the wow. I've seen some of your work and it's like uh, just a lot of colorful pieces. Yeah, so yeah. So is that the direction that you're going with the sneakers today? Yeah, yeah, that's the direction I'm going. I'm gonna give it like a comic book feel. My name is Caddy and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I was working in a dental field and I was not happy, so I decided to just let it go and just do my thing as an artist and customizing sneakers. I didn't have the funds to go to art school, but instead I started a clothing brand. In the beginning, financially, it was hard. People back then wasn't really into customs, but when they saw that they could get their name or a certain design on their shoes, they were like, oh wait, I kinda like that. I've done custom clothing for movies, TV shows, music videos, football players, actors, actresses. I don't do anything but customize shoes all day, every day. Draymond's wearing these in the pregame tunnel. It's like the red carpet. Yeah. You've seen like 12 photographers in the cut like that. <laughs> you know, so you gotta get them right. Yeah, I'm gonna have them right, for sure. And Josh has been looking at his phone, playing around, looking at his phone, shoe, phone, shoe. I don't know if he has a full plan yet or if he's just faced out right now. Jeremon mentioned that he wanted something that resembles him. I'm going to paint one shoe yellow, another shoe blue to represent the Golden State Warriors. I'm laying down some stencils, some words, and some minis. So it's gonna be his number right here, and then green. 
So, you might rock with that, oh, yeah. okay, okay? I'm gonna add some mismatched color flaming just to represent the flame that Draymond Green has inside of him. Because if you're gonna doubt him, he's gonna go out there and prove you wrong. That's just, that's just Draymond. If you win today, you know you're moving on to the final round for a chance to win 10K. Does that mean anything to you? That means a lot. My name is Josh. I'm currently serving in the military, but I also do customs on the side. I didn't have the best background growing up. Moving from place to place, living with friends, worrying about my next meal, what that was gonna be. People at school would notice that I was wearing kind of the same outfit here and there, and it's pretty embarrassing. Art was kind of my getaway. I could just go home and kind of let my feelings go out on the paper. Not having a lot of clothes growing up inspired me to do customs because I could always switch it up if there's something I didn't like on the shoes. I could always add something or take something off. In my mind, I had a lot of pair of shoes, but it was the same one. I've designed sneakers for Russell Westbrook, Mellow Ball, Leangelo Ball, Shakira O'Neal, Mikey Williams. One of my pairs went viral on Facebook. That's when I knew like, wow, I can go somewhere with this. I have that mindset of I have what I have and I'm gonna make what's best of it because that's how my father was. He actually passed away not too long ago. He was my father, but he was my best friend and one of my biggest fans. I never thought a kid from Omaha, Nebraska would be out in New York doing things like this. You know, it's a blessing. Stop, stop. Four hours left. An hour in, I'm feeling good. I'm looking at the G4s. There's mesh, there's rubber. Mesh is notorious for being difficult to customize and change the color with. So I used my glow-in-the-dark paint. I also wanted to add some reflective material. When you use flash photography, all you see is the white reflective 3M, which I think is so dope. Walking into the stadium and obviously the paparazzi, I think he illuminates the stadium with his game and that's why I'm using here glow-in-the-dark paint with some 3M. My name is Soph Dog. I'm from New York City. Art and sneakers were always a big part of who I am. I was always really, really tall, and I always had really big feet. Like, I was literally a size nine and a half in men since, like, the second grade. So I was just, like, always wearing sneakers, and I was also very into basketball. I love the art and culture around basketball. My style is all inspired by the city and looking around and seeing so much graffiti and street art. Whenever I'm drawing on sneakers, I really kind of zone out and I'm just so happy in that place. So now my yellow's laid down. I want to go with a blue flame over this yellow. I know Draymond Green is a very humble dude. He loves representing where he's from, Michigan State and the Golden State Warriors. So that's what I'm gonna keep it about. It's been three hours. With the time, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous, but I've worked with a shoe like this before. So I kind of know what I'm doing. I know what the process is. Does Soph have a nickname for Draymond that I don't know about, or did she just spell his name wrong? She definitely spelled his name wrong. The clock is ticking. It's a whirlwind. I'm nervous. Okay, so now I see that she put that Y in there, so now we're moving. What? You know it's Aki season, and it's been Aki season. <laughs> Larry interrupts, like he always does. Pause the clock, pause the clock. Stop, stop what y'all doing. Larry comes in and tells us that we'll be wearing sumo suits. For the next 30 minutes, I gotta customize your sneakers wearing this sumo suit. What? Yeah, well you thought this was gonna be easy? You thought the road to 10K <laughs> was gonna be light work? <laughs> it was definitely a curveball for sure. So we have to wear it. <laughs> That's for real? Yeah, it's for real. Okay. You want me in the sumo suits for 30 minutes? I cannot believe Larry's doing this right now. We're like, what? Are you not feeling this? I could definitely do without it, but I think you know I'm down for a challenge, Larry. Well, we'll see, we'll see. So, he helped us put our sumo suits on. Good to go. All right, so, gotta put some weight on you. <laughs> so I get in the sumo suit, and I'm thinking like, yo, how am I gonna do this? I have a belly that's out to here. My arms is sitting on the sides like this. Am I able to even customize this shoe? Look at Josh. Oh, help my man. Oh, Come no, on. no help. If it's for 30 minutes. I couldn't really focus. I had to get on the ground to pick up my laces. How long did it take you to do that? It felt like two years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she already dropped some paint. She already dropped some Shit. paint. <laughs> I'm knocking over paint. We didn't get no paint on the kicks, right? I hope not. I can't see. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Oh. <laughs> I can't watch. I'm in a turtleneck, long sleeve, long pants. I was sweating so much. It like cuts your neck circulation off, but it's okay. I didn't let it bother me. I just kept working. Hey yo, hold their clocks real quick. 
Y'all been in the suits for 30 minutes already. We're gonna take you out the suits, and y'all gonna start customizing again, all right? It was funny. Definitely funny. Customizers, now it's time to start your final hour. Let's get this thing started. So it's one hour left. I only got one shoe done completely. The clock is definitely making me nervous. The time is running out faster than what I'm thinking. I'm stressed. I'm hot. I'm drawing. I'm redrawing. Go over the lines, switch shoes, go over the lines again, go back to the other shoe again and again and again. My military background helped me a lot in regards to discipline and just getting the work done and staying focused because I'm usually the type that will get distracted easily, so I'm really down and getting to work. Reporting live from the set of paint wars, I'm here with Soap Dog, and currently I'm viewing her put some little sparkles on her sparkles. Sparkles on sparkles, that's what you said? Sparkles on sparkles. Can you ask her if Draymond's a sparkle guy? Excuse mm. me, Soap Dog, is Draymond a sparkle guy? He's gonna be. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at that. We got to get to moving, let's keep it going. Hold on, I'm actually getting something from HQ. They don't think that you're gonna finish. Girl, tell him if he stopped talking to you, you might be able to get it done. I'm looking over at the other contestants, they're pretty much done. I'm just like, ah! 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left and I'm feeling pretty confident. I know I use my time wisely. I'm just checking to see if everything's good to go. Yo, Josh, you wanna win? Yeah, I wanna win. I like that, I like that. You know, you gotta get a little bass in your voice over there. Five minutes left. I'm rushing, Larry's over me like, one minute left. And I'm just thinking in my head like, yo, chill. One minute, sis. I'm still putting the laces in in the very last 10 seconds of the show. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, stop customizing. I literally used every minute of the five hours. I wasn't done early, I was done on time. I'm looking over at my competitors. Their designs are pretty dope. They completely transformed their shoe. And I'm saying to myself, should I have customized the entire shoe? I told you I had a special guest on the way, and you already know his family. My guy can really pull up from the logo, and all I'm asking from him is he keeps it a stack and lets us know who got the best kicks. Give it up for my guys, though. Julian Newman! Yeah. Yeah. How are you, my boy? How are you? Good, good, how are you? Julian Newman, he gets buckets. He can pull up from anywhere. I've seen him drop 40, 50 points in his videos. Hey, we ain't shooting threes today, all right? Yeah. We're judging. The fact that I'm one out of three artists in the whole world that can be here and my shoes are being judged by Julian Newman, it's a blessing. Judges, just a reminder, these are how the Converse G4 looked before they were customized, okay? Hey judges, I'm Caddy Customs, and I just wanted to keep it original by doing like an artistic comic book theme to it, you know, just giving it a different feel on this type of shoe because I feel like you wouldn't see this type of design on this type of shoe. I'm feeling really confident, um, mainly because I did something different totally. You know, were you worried that it wasn't really like a team color kind of thing, or were you just trying to be completely? I wanted to be completely different. I just wanted to just give, you know, a, a different feel to it. I'm not really knowing what to expect, but I'm definitely feeling confident. What's up, y'all? My name is Josh Chester, known as Chester Customs from Omaha, Nebraska. And what I did today on Draymond's Customs was I incorporated the Golden State Warriors colors because I know he loves repping the Warriors. I told him that these, in my opinion, spoke uh, Draymond Green, the quality was there. I feel like when he looks at these, he's gonna know that like, oh, these are fire, like literally. So you've done the flames before, so do you think your shoe is original? Um, in my style, uh, yes, and I feel like I did this because I, I feel like it would fit Draymond. I'm all about taking risks, but it's just, we have five hours and that's why I decided to stay inside of my comfort zone because I knew I was gonna be successful in getting this project done. What's up judges, I'm Soap Dog. Right here I picked flames similar to our friend Josh here. I chose blue and yellow, obviously for Golden State. And also I used here some 3M, so when you use flash photography, it turns white and really brings these uh, kicks to life. I think that the judges, you know, fashion-wise, would choose my sneakers to wear above all of them. Do you think that he could hoop in those? Would it last? The judges were questioning the durability of the material I chose to use. This 
paint. Um, I've actually never used it before, but it's very, um, it's almost like rubber. The judges were questioning if Draymond Green is a sparkle guy. The glitter will be the best part for him, you think? Maybe like the glow in the dark slash glitter. I think the whole kind of illuminescent like brightness. I mean, who isn't a sparkle guy? All right, all right, that's enough talking. The judges gotta get their judge on. Customizers, please exit the room. Let's get this thing going. First shoes, Caddy Customs. What y'all thinking? The detail is crazy. I do like how detailed it really is and that I can see that clearly. When I looked at it from over there, I was like, mm, I don't really know, but now when I see it up close, I like that. I like the, you know, the designs creative, the skyline, like you said. I'm very impressed with the originality. It just brings a different vibe, a different feel than the rest of the shoes up here today. Originality, she went. She put her own flair and her own style. I do like that she went outside of the box compared to the other two. I think she definitely did win the creativity battle. The use of colors were so important. Draymond Green has a loud personality and also they're just so complimentary. The colors go well with each other. But other thing is, you gotta put the you gotta put the English on the ends of these. Yeah. You know, this looks mad janky like this. Next up, we got Chester Customs. Check these bad boys out. My favorite part of the shoe is probably the secondary Converse logo, just because I actually like that he made a bold decision, went with some actual dark colors that you could see off of the shoe from a distance. I do love the drip in the back, though. I do think that's fire, um, and I do like the flames. I just think the shoe is safe. Like, I don't think he did anything crazy. The main thing that Chester was telling me, he wanted to bring out the Golden State Warrior colors, blue and the yellow. I like the shoe, the only part I don't like is this. I don't get it. With the blue, it's like, see how like, he went over with crayon or something. It's one of those things where he did, probably just didn't think he had enough time to do all that. You know, it is a time challenge, so I don't know, you know how much I want to hold that against him. The next shoe we got is from Soap Dog. Boom. First thing when I'm looking at these, I see something I really like which is on the laces here. I really like that. That's the kind of touch that Adrenaline Green is gonna enjoy. Like, that's that personal touch. And it's clean, it's simple, it's easy to read, you know? The colors, I mean, I, I think it works, um, but I don't know. I wouldn't have been mad if she chose other colors. Now, the glitter, this is Adrenaline Green we're talking about. That's what I'm saying. It's not Russell Westbrook. I mean, Westbrook guys like can like glitter. And the baby blue. I mean, guys can wear glitter, but we're talking about, do they actually wear glitter? Judges. Have we reached a decision? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna call the customizers back in. Customizers, come through. I have to win. I really want this bad. I want them to say my name. All three of you are very talented sneaker designers. I'm on a high just from being here. But only one of you can move on to the final round for a chance to win $10,000. I'm nervous because the other artist was great. This is never an easy decision, but it has to go down. I'm feeling really confident. I'm feeling all the feels. I want it so bad because just having this opportunity is crazy. The customizer moving on to the next round is... Caddy Customs. <laughs> To be the winner is like, it's, it's like, wow. I'm like happy, so happy. Yeah, Caddy. Thank you. Deserve it. It hit me so hard because like, I quit my job, you know, uh, years back just to pursue the custom business. Thank judges, you, judges, thank you. Judges loved your shoe. I know I'm gonna win the whole thing. I just feel it in my heart. Being, you know, a woman in the custom sneaker game, it's not too many of us. I just really want to inspire other women. You too could be a customizer. I'm taking home that $10,000. <laughs> that epi was Puegote, and you know we got more. Keep rocking with Paint Wars. Congrats, Caddy Customs. On the next episode of Paint Wars. Lil Punk! Now, 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 now. Nobody's talking, you know, it's not it's not friendly, there's no back and forth. I think everybody knows we need to just get to it. I walk in, I see that one of the contestants is Caddy Custom. Once I got something in mind, I'm going for it. Yeah, I might need to get a band-aid because I'm bleeding. I know you're trying to get fitted like your boy, so click the link below ASAP.
get right like me and check out the rest of these videos right here and subscribe stop playing with me subscribe click that button already man Sheesh.